I hope everybody is well. So just letting you know that on April the 8th, we have an eclipse. We have a full solar eclipse. It's a very interesting eclipse because it marks the deep and radical change in age and era. So this solar eclipse also has some solar flares along with it. And with these solar flares, of course, what that means is increased heat. Remember also that for the last five years, the sun has been getting closer and closer to Earth. And so there is that phenomenon going on. And so what does this mean? It means inorganic creatures are panicking. They are terrified. And so NASA has come up with a program that they call APEP. APEP is a program where they are going to be shooting out, I don't know what they're going to be putting into the atmosphere that is supposed to come between the sun and the earth, meaning the sun and the moon, because remember the moon is in front of the sun during the eclipse, in order to prevent these solar flares from the sun from reaching the earth. What does that mean for us as Bagwantu? For us, it basically means they're trying to interfere with the upgrade that is coming to us with this solar flare. So who is APEP actually? That acronym is so ironic because in ancient Kemetic uh, cosmology, APEP was a serpent deity who was uh, the deity of chaos and disorder and whose arch nemesis was Ra, Ra being the sun. And so Apep was in constant war with the sun and with Ma'at. So do you see what's going in here? We have the divine age of Ma'at coming through and then they are launching into space this program they call Apep to try to disrupt or to prevent the solar flares or the heat or the energy from the solar flare by influencing what is called the ionosphere. And so it's ironic because we are in the age of Ma'at. They're trying to prevent the age of Ma'at using Apep, who was a deity who was anti-Ma'at and anti-Ra. In other words, if they are anti-Ma'at and anti-Ra, they are anti the divine feminine and they are anti the children of the sun because we are the children of Ra and we are the daughters of Ma'at. So you see where this is all. It is literally trying to prevent the exit out of this age of Pisces. And if there's one thing we know as Bagwantu is, you cannot defeat nature. So it's actually a joke that they are trying this. What I would say to Bagwantu, especially in North America, because this, <laughs> this, this is all happening in North America, a little bit of Mexico into Canada is happening while everyone in the Southern Hemisphere is fast asleep, which is a great thing. It's at nighttime. So if you are Umundu in America, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go outside. Please do not go to the gatherings where they are waiting for this so-called eclipse because many of them, as you know, like to gather around this time. We as Bagwantu never did that. We do not gather during a solar eclipse at all because in ancient times this eclipse was considered a bad omen. So what you want to do is at home, wherever it is you are, go outside barefoot and step on the ground, step on grass. It doesn't matter if it's cold, it's still cold in some parts, but make sure that you are grounded then you are going to reach up to the sky and welcome the codes, welcome the upgrade. They are not going to prevent us being upgraded. The sun has a lot of codes. Remember, the sun is where all Akashic records are stored because the sun is, 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 is ageless. And so that means that when you stand in this energy of the sun as above, so below, your DNA codes that have been dormant for so long are going to be initiated. So please, please, please make sure you are not. Please, can you get rid of fear as well? Fear is so not welcome at this time. We are not children of fear. We are children of the sun. 
We're fearless gods and goddesses. So make sure that you're vibrating high. Try not to argue or fight with anyone, please. The day before and the day after, there will be a marked difference forever after this solar flare. And I have been talking to you guys for the last year about getting your bodies ready for these upgrades because solar flares have been happening throughout, but this one is a major turning point. And they know this, which is why now they have this APEP <laughs> uh, to try to prevent it. So please do take care of yourselves. Also keep in mind that you need to stay high vibrational. Bhagwan, do you have nothing to fear? This is not about you. This is not targeting you. It's targeting you in the sense that it is here to upgrade you. Speak to Ra. Speak to the moon, Unom Kubulwane. These two cosmic bodies cannot be divided. And so this APEP that they're trying to put there is not going to succeed. Mastogos.